people while they stood one foot in front of the smart meter. And in every single case, the uh, human energy field was obliterated as they stood in front of the smart meter. So in our first slides, what we see is normal cells and the structure of the cells is intact and sound. This is what we would expect from a normal sample. So after two minutes of exposure in front of the smart meter at about one foot away, we see a totally different story. Sample one, you can see a lot of degradation in the cells. The cell walls have been broken and you see changes in the cells which are called mycoplasma. It shows a mutation to the cell. In the second sample, we see a different type of degradation to the cell membranes. You can see a corrugation here. This is called bottle cap formation, and it's known that this occurs due to oxidation or uh, exposure to free radicals. So this third subject, uh, when we did her sample, she had to be pulled away from the meter after 45 seconds because she complained about a increasingly severe headache. And here you see a phenomenon called Rouleau, where the red blood cells are stacking up, which makes it very difficult for the blood to deliver oxygen to the tissues as they would be their normal function. Every single one of these is a degradation. Every single one of these shows a trauma to the blood cells and that came from something and the only variable was the smart meter. The good news in all this is the patient... So the smart meter and 5G are kicking out 60 gigahertz, which doesn't allow the oxygen to get to the tissues. The same exact thing that they're calling the coronavirus. and the blood can return to normal once they have been removed from the influences. 